is my second time recording this because the first time I clicked stop when I didn't want to stop. Okay, um, I went to the thrift store today. I'm in Kentucky right now. I'm in Louisville. Um, I went to Unique Thrift. Um, it's like on Preston Highway. Oh, jeans stuff on me. Okay, first thing I got was this belt, and it's like Navajo style or whatever. It's like beaded. It's really, really cute. And it has like a gold buckle thingy. It fits me perfect. It's really cute. Okay, I got four pairs of pants. And I already cut them up and stuff. These are from Lee. These are three bucks. I just cut off the bottom and put them in the washer. And dryer and they got all like, fringy and fluffy. The next ones I got are from Levi's. And I just dress these really, like, pretty good, I guess. I don't know. The way I do mine, I do mine kind of different. Like, I cut holes in it, and I'll rip the hole, or I'll take, like, a nail clipper, and I, like, click it. I don't know. I have to do a video of me doing it one day, but, yeah. The next ones are, like, my favorite pair that I got, and these are my Calvins. I got Calvin Klein. I thought it was pretty cool. I love them, they're like, I cut them like the shit, like they're cut up super wild, like I made like three sluts right here, and I kind of like, I didn't really mess with the white part, and I just put it in the washer and dryer and it got all fluffy, so, no. I didn't do anything in the pocket, I should have, because it's kind of boring like here, their pockets are super boring, I'm thinking I might like rip this off and like leave it open and stud the inside, I don't know, it depends. After your job before I can do all this shit. Let's take a good look. To the 11. Um, these are Wranglers. These are, like, all these jeans are, like, $3 and, like, 45 cents. Which is really good. I'm pretty sure they were, like, heck expensive in their heyday. Um, yeah, these are pretty simple. I didn't really do much to them. Just, like, little stuff in the front. Um, little stuff in the back. It just looks like natural, like, wear and tear. I like it. And, like, when I got all these, like, um, it seemed like they, they were, like, worn, kind of, but they weren't, like, they were in, like, really good condition. I would consider it pretty good condition and how they are. Um, and the sizes are just, like, most of them are, like, I don't know, smaller sizes, I don't know, they fit me really well, so, and I wear like a size 2 or 3, so I mean if I ever wanted to, I could like dress them up and sell them, um, I want to do these pair, this pair, or this pair, probably this pair because it's more like, I don't know, I don't know, but I think I want to like dye it <coughs> Rasta or Rainbow. I really love Rasta color sweater. The, the yellow green or whatever pattern is, I forgot. And maybe do like some studded, like studs on the back or something, or like here. Like I think I want to do Rasta and then have it like studded with a peace sign or like know, something for like that. But yeah, I'm thinking like this summer what I should do is like just go to like a bunch of thrifts and just like pick up. A whole bunch of like shorts and stuff, and like dye them and stud them and make them like original and like open up my online, open up an online store and sell them and stuff. But that just takes like a lot of time and effort out of me. So I don't know. I just I don't know. But yeah. Um, update. I'm not home. I'm in Kentucky. With my, at my granny's, like I said earlier, I'm in mobile. So, yeah. Um, if you're in mobile, like, message me. Like, I'm turn out. Just kidding. I'm going back home in a week. Um, yeah. Um, oh, what I use, pretty much, what I use to, like, cut up my pants, I just use scissors. Um, I use this right here. It's a safety pin. It comes up this way. 
And what I did was I pretty much like stabbed it and went across. And like I took some, some one time I think I used a knife and stabbed it and cut across. And then like pretty much like if you want like th that was like a lot of work. I guess not a lot of work, but if you just want to, you really don't have to go through picking out all of the things. All you have to do is just cut it and um, cut holes into it, and it gets fluffy by itself by just putting it into the washer and dryer and stuff. So. Yeah, what I did was, like, I didn't wash them, like, when I came home, I just try kind of tried them on, like, with spandex on them, and then, like, measured it out, cut it, and then put it in the washer so they're ready to wear. So, yeah. That's pretty much what I did. Um, my hair, I haven't been straightening it. I've been embracing my curly yes. Yeah, bandanas are, like, my best friend, because... Bandanas and conditioner. Especially since I recently dyed my hair, I've been trying to not use any heat, so I've really been eating it. Like, sometimes I'll straighten my bangs, but I'm too lazy. I just wake up in the morning, jump in the shower, and just even the straw on my hair. I don't wash it, just conditioner. Um, I want to give a shout out to. My friend's sister, Kayla, um, her name, her Tumblr is Kayla Kinsey, K-A-Y-L-A-K-I-N-S-E-Y dot Tumblr dot com. You guys should follow her. She's, um, pretty cool. Um, she likes my blog, I guess, but, um, yeah, she's not cool. Her brother's cool. Um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a video talking about my pants, because I'm like, Hella excited. Hella, hella excited. And then something crazy happened. I thought I broke my camera, but really my fucking rechargeable batteries won't charge anymore. So I don't know like, what's wrong with them. So I had to go find batteries from somewhere. So now it works. Finally. Finally. Yeah, I have a Canon um, PowerShot SX130IS. I love this bad boy. Best camera ever. It's so small and it's such good quality. And I have like this liner that smells so good. It smells like a guy. And I need class for But yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go. Bye!